Today we're going to install Victron's Venus OS on a Raspberry Pi, which is the software which runs on the GX products from Victron. Hello! In today's video we want to talk about Raspberry Pi. We're going to use a Raspberry Pi as our control unit and our gateway to the internet if we want to, to monitor our battery configuration with the Victron products. So what you can see here is a Raspberry Pi already in its finished configuration. So let me start with the Raspberry Pi first, which is this unit. It's a controller, it's a microcomputer. It also comes with, uh, in the package which I ordered, it comes with a on-off switch, which is connected via micro USB. And uh, here you can also see that um, this one goes connected to a power source. On the other side, we do have a couple USB ports. Here we have already two USB ports connected or USB cable connected. Those are the VE Direct to USB, which um, is from Victron themselves manufactured. And uh, those cables, one goes into my MPPT solar charge controller and the other one is also from Victron, it goes into my shunt uh, which is also in my solar configuration. When you turn this little guy around, do this like this really quick, we can see there is a micro USB card slot. This micro USB card slot does hold the operating system, the Venus OS from Victron, which is open source. It's, it's basically a Linux with only the packages installed, which this Raspberry really needs. I recently started to watch other DIY solar generators or solar charging stuff up. Whatever you see here, you know, I was, I was doing myself. You can also do it, it's not very difficult. And uh, feel free to ask any questions you have. I try to answer them, just try it. It's, it's really not super complicated, no worries. Go ahead. What you can see here, this is a sneak peek and it's a very, very messy sneak peek. As you can tell, there are a lot of cables, loose cables at the moment. I'm playing around with it. We are having the solar charge control over here with this USB cable which goes into the Raspberry and we have the same connected down here to the shunt. Also this one goes to the Raspberry. So I'm connecting it back in there. And then we have a power source which has this little converter from 12 volt to 5 volts. Uh, which is connected to positive and negative, somewhere to the battery, in my case the fuse box. Here's the website for the Venus OS where we can actually download it. And there are also more information and other possibilities how to download it and set it up. We want to go into the wiki, which is down here, this link. There are more information, we want to click on Raspberry Pi. And then we can see in my configuration Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. It's also supported, same as the 3B. There is a getting started section, and there you can download the image. After you downloaded the version, you want to unzip it, get the SD card ready. So I recommend having a micro SD card with a SD card adapter if you don't have a micro SD card slot. Next is you want to either have the Win32 disk imager or the Balina etcher. We want to flash from file. I'm going to set the target, micro SD card, flash, let the flash process begin. There we go, it's flashed. Now you want to take the micro SD card and plug it into the Raspberry Pi and it will immediately boot from the micro SD card. To connect the Raspberry Pi you need either to connect it to your local network with an Ethernet cable and then boot the Raspberry Pi or you can set up the Wi-Fi connection. I did it through this link which is in the description below. I was connecting the Raspberry Pi with the HDMI cable to my monitor and I connected also a keyboard and I was following these instructions in this Wi-Fi wi section especially the connecting to protected access point because my Wi-Fi is password protected and I use those commands which you can see here. Follow those. I added my specific Wi-Fi 
network, I entered the password, and that's it. Raspberry Pi is set up completely wireless, which is great, and I do not have any cables or strings attached, how you would say. As soon as you have the Ethernet cable connected or set it up with Wi Fi, you need to figure out the IP address, type it into the browser and connect your browser to the Raspberry. Then you might have an overview. What do we need to do? Click in it. We need to click on menu, click on settings. And then we have to scroll down, use the arrow down. And there is a point which is called VRM online portal. We click on that one. And now you want to see the VRM portal ID. You need to take that ID and then you need to go into Victron Energy VRM portal and there you can add an installation. I would recommend you to Venus GX first time and then entering the VRM portal ID which you just figured out and saw on here. As soon as you have done this there will be automatically all information which are available showing up here and then you can change names, you can configure things. What we see here is the dashboard of the Victron Energy login page and there we can see my installations. So what I've done already, I connected my Raspberry with the installation. I called myself Solar Generator T-Box. And as soon as I click on this one, I will see all devices which are connected to the Raspberry Pi, which is here on the left side, we can see the smart shunt I've connected, which uh, has and stores all the information which it receives from the battery. As well, on the other side here, we can see the PV charger, which is nothing less than a solar charge controller. And here we can also see that it's currently charging with uh, 63 watts. I tried to set it up and it's currently outside in the sun. The historical data down here, we could also change the overview here on the historical data. What else do we have? We have also overview over here. Um, what temperature is the in the location I picked? Pick LA. It says it's sunny. As well as last update, how the status is, and also the local time, which I set up. We also have an advanced overview, and that's something which is up to you. You can design, yeah, you can basically control what widgets or which widgets you want to see when you click over here on the right side. It says it has three devices connected, the gateway, which is the Raspberry Pi, the battery monitor, and the solar charger. Besides the advanced list here, we also have device list, and uh, that's what we have connected. Generic Venus device, that's the Raspberry Pi. Same with the battery monitor, and same with the solar charger. I think what's also very cool, very interesting is the remote console, which um, you know you might get when buying a product, which you can see here itself. And right now we have this very nice overview, um, but you can also then just press escape or just put, click on menu. In the menu, you can see oh, there's a smart charger, there's a smart solar charger. Those are the two components which are connected. Let's just go into the smart charger. And there we can see, oh that's cool, see alarms, history, all the kind of things. When we click on it, you can see more information and then we can always go back. You can see we also have a Wi-Fi connection, something I set up. This is pretty much the overview of the website from, from Victron Energy. If you have any thoughts about it, just uh, leave some comments below. Yeah, I have access through the app, which I am showing you right now here. So right now, not on Wi-Fi. So you can see my solar generator T-Box. Generic Venus, Venus device is online. So I can click on that, it's opening. Then I can see um, there is yeah, not very much more information, but I can click on the VRM online portal. So I'm doing that, it's connecting me to the website. But here we see everything again, the solar generator T-Box, all the information which we just saw also on the web browser on my computer. Really, that's pretty nice to have it even on the phone when I'm somewhere outside or whatever and want to check out something. Why ever I want to do that? <laughs> but it's something you can do. To summarize everything, you need for sure a Raspberry Pi. To configure everything, you need a micro SD card. You need those uh, VE Direct Victron cables, USB cables, depending on your units, which you want to connect and um, the information you want to pull off them. As well as um, maybe or maybe not a Wi-Fi hotspot, which you can configure um, and then can use. So you can take it any way you want to. If you're home and just have Wi-Fi or Ethernet, perfect, you're all set. You should be able to find all the components I used in the description. Uh, maybe you wanna spend a little more money for a Raspberry Pi housing or something and give it a nice home, who knows? 
But other than that, I think that's pretty much it. I will give you more information about my solar generator configuration soon. If you want to subscribe and stay informed when I um, release this information about my solar generator, please feel free to do that. Can't wait to share it with you. And uh, there are a couple other components which I want to add. So thank you so much. Hope to see you soon. Cheers. Tschüss, by the way.